For the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. We know the system to make big effects and to make big action scenes. We want filmmakers who come in and tell very personal stories. And Destin said two things to us uh, in that first meeting that really solidified it. One, he said that he recently decided he was never going to make a Marvel movie until he heard we were looking for filmmakers on Shang-Chi. I've been around a lot of movie stars and a lot of living legends, but it was I was I was nearly speechless when I met him briefly on the set because he seems like such a otherworldly star star <laughs> directly from the sky. Kevin, welcome to Film Companion. Uh, my first question is that you have such impeccable creative instincts when it comes to not just which stories you want to tell, but who should tell those stories, right? To pick Taika Waititi or Chloe Zhao or Destin Daniel Curtin for Shang-Chi. Uh, how does that happen? Do you have a spidey sense that starts to tingle when you're in the presence of talent? Uh, I've never thought of it that way. I do think um, I do think you it is easier to make a choice when it fe- when there is a feeling like that, when it feels when it feels right. Um, uh, but it you it, to a certain extent, you always are you're always taking a chance. They're taking a chance signing up with us. We're taking a chance signing up with them. Um, but it really is the the team at Marvel Studios and in the case of Shang-Chi, my um Producing partner on this film, Jonathan Schwartz, met many filmmakers, brought in a handful to meet with myself and, and Ludi Esposito and Victoria Alonso at Marvel. And Destin really stood apart. Destin stood apart in many ways. He's a very humble man. He's made very, very good movies, certainly smaller than Shang-Chi, but very personal movies and very character oriented movies. And ultimately, that's what we want at Marvel. We want, we know that we, we know the system to make big effects and to make big action scenes. We want filmmakers who come in and tell very personal stories. And Destin said two things to us uh, in that first meeting that really solidified it. One, he said that he recently decided he was never going to make a Marvel movie until he heard we were looking for filmmakers on Shang-Chi. And that touched him personally. And he immediately thought, oh, I have to, I have to go for this, try for this. And he and he told a very personal story um, in his pitch for this that started and ended with pictures of himself as a child with his own father. Um, And I've asked him someday, maybe he'll talk about that or make it more public. But it really was very special. And now that was two or three years ago. And it was our hope at that time. And it has been proven to be true that he would carry that with him throughout the entirety of this giant big budget movie. And and for people who've seen Shang-Chi, you see how personal it is and how Tony Leung's performance is this very conflicted, almost tragic figure of a father uh, and the and the relationship he has with his son, Shang-Chi, um, uh, could only have come about and survive and be such a core part of this movie if the storyteller telling that story, you know, um, made it a point to never lose sight of that. Um, and and that's that's sort of that's what we always hope for when we uh, when we hire a filmmaker. You're just a criminal who murders people. Be careful how you speak to me, boy. You know, uh, you talked about Tony Leung, and I think that's really one of the master strokes of this film. He is one of the world's great movie stars, uh, and to cast him as the Mandarin is just is just brilliant. But but there's been so much conversation about how the rise of the superhero film and the comic book movies actually eroded the sort of very foundation of the traditional movie star, uh, because what matters is the character and not the actor playing him or her. What is your take on that? You know, I, I always, I don't, I don't know that it's eroded the movie star. I've always said that when we find, when we find a great actor to embody a great character, it is that chemistry that both makes the character very popular and turns the actor into a, into a movie star. Um, so I do think they go, they go hand in hand. And you look at, at uh, the great work that people uh, like Chris Hemsworth or Tom Hiddleston, Robert Downey Jr. was doing great work beforehand, have done uh, certainly with us, but even as they go out into the world on other on other projects, um, 
Uh, so I do think I do think they go uh, they go hand in hand. Tony Leung, however, um, it does seem like a whole different layer of movie star. He is a very very talented man, um, and and uh, I don't feel it was a masterstroke for us. I feel we were lucky that he chose us to uh, to to make his first Hollywood film appearance in and and give all of himself and all of his talent to creating this amazing amazing character of Wen Wu. I've been around a lot of movie stars and a lot of living legends, but it was, I was, I was nearly speechless when I met him briefly on the set because he seems like such a, a uh, otherworldly star, star <laughs> directly from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.